Okay, in this video, we're just going to have a look at how we can sell digital products in Shopify. And we are going to have to use a third party app to do it, but it's Shopify's own one and it's a free app as well. So we'll kind of run through how we can do that and how we can get this all set up. So what I've got here is just a development store. It's not live. It doesn't have any products really. So apart from a couple of test ones. So what we can do is we could jump in and we can just have a quick look what's there. So I'd set this um, this product up already, but we can kind of delete that um, and we can go in and we can sort of recreate it. So if we come up to add product and then we can just call this our digital product and then it's just a test. We could say we want to charge five pounds for it and then you can kind of see as we come down even without the app we've got the the sort of the notion of a product being physical and a product being digital or a service so if somebody's paying for your time or they're paying for um you know something that's not physically being sent to them you've still got this option so essentially just drop the um shipping part of the checkout and then you um kind of fulfill it in your own way afterwards and that can work for um, some digital services, but um, in this we're looking more at when somebody pays for it, we'll just send it to them in an email. So um, we'd be looking to do this, but in more of a kind of automated fashion. So if we jump down into apps down here and then we'll just go into recommended apps. Um, actually, what we really need to do is just go to the, the app store here. And what we'll search for is digital, oh, it's already there, digital downloads. And you can see it's this one here with the cloud and the kind of arrow coming through it. And when you click on it, you can see the developer is Shopify, the price is free. And like I said, it's just called digital downloads. And what we'll do is hit add app. You'll just need to be the store owner or have the sort of authority to do this, to be able to do this part of it. And then it's just saying, do we want to install the app? And we do. And then you can see down here, we've got the digital downloads app installed now, and it's given us the option of our kind of products if we want to kind of link them up to this. And you can see actually, I've already had this linked up before to a file there. So what we'll do is we'll jump back to our products and we've got, if we come back and we create our new product again, so um, we'll just call this one digital product we didn't quite finish creating that and we just say we want to um, say it's an ebook for example we're going to charge five pounds for it and then when we come to here we're going to say it's a digital product or service and then we'll just hit save so we've got um, we've got that set up um, but really for digital product also what you want to do is um, just hit continue selling when out of stock so you technically don't even need to track the quantity but it can be useful so that part of it's completely up to you I've just got track quantity continue selling when out of stock and then that obviously will just give you an idea of how many have been sold anyway but it doesn't matter because we're not physically holding stock for it and then we can just jump back into the app at any time so jump back to digital downloads and you'll see our new product now will be added to our list so this is just pulling in all of our products and our digital product you can see here it's not got anything assigned to it yet so we can add digital files so we can jump into it and then we can literally just click on here and add the files so um, what you'll really want to do is probably um, if it's an ebook that's fine you can just add a PDF if it's a set of uh, design files or something like that what you'll probably want to do is kind of zip them up and you can work with it in different ways. They could be sent individually or zipped up, but you can kind of add all your files here. There's a five gig limit on there, which is pretty enormous, to be honest. It used to be a lot smaller than that. So um, yeah, you've, you've got a decent sort of idea of what you can add there. And I'm just gonna go in and I will add, um, I'll just add this image into there. And then we've got our, got a product there and then we can hit fulfillment and then you can see here it gives you the option what do you want to do do you want to automatically send the files to the customer or do you want to manually send them 
Um, realistically, we, we just want this to be sort of automated. So they pay for it. Then they just get sent an email saying, thanks for purchasing, here's the link to it. And then you've also got the option, they can download it as many times as they want or just a one-time download. And here you'll just need to um, factor in, you know, if people can only download it a limited amount of times, you are gonna get customers come back to you and sort of ask for, you know, can they re-download it? But if you make it unlimited, then potentially people can share the link. So it, there's sort of pros and cons to doing it both ways. But if we say three downloads, for example, automatically send, and then the fulfillment settings have been set for that, and then we can kind of go, oh, actually, sorry, we want to hit save up here. And then when we go back, uh, it should take us back to the main menu in a second. And then it's just going to tell us that we've got one file attached to it. And again, like I say, you, you could have multiple files as long as you stay within the, the restrictions. And then you've also got these options here under digital downloads. And these are the options for the, um, the, the app as a whole. So you can click on orders. We don't have any yet, but as soon as people start buying your digital products, they'll start popping up and, and you'll be able to see your customers and your, your sort of orders that are coming in. And then more importantly, we've got the um, the settings for it. So you've got in the checkout, it's got the, uh, the, the download option here. Um, you can deactivate this if you want, but um, obviously this is just the easiest way that people can get it. They come in, they check out, they buy it, and then the link is like right there for them to download. So um, I think personally keeping that enabled is the best, but you might have a different way you want to work with it. And you've got two, the sort of concept of two things here. So you've got the download ready. So that's when they buy it, the, the product is ready to download and you can come in and you can edit the template however you like. So you've got the download link here, which you, you could make that into a nice button and you know, you could dress this up to how you want it to be. It's just a text based email by default. So it's not the most exciting, you know, if you want to make it look a bit more visual, you can certainly come in and do that. And then you've got the concept of a digital file update. So a digital file update might be if um, somebody's bought a book from you and then you've revised the book and then because they've paid for it, you're offering them the revision as a free thing. Or maybe you've actually set up a product and you forgot to add a file to it. Um, so then you can actually go back and you can update the file under your, um, under your product in digital uh, downloads. And then what will happen is they basically just get resent the link just to say there's an update available now for this. So as soon as you come back in, so say we've got our, just wait for it to load a second. We've got our one file attached. If I were to come in, people had already purchased it. And then I come in and I actually change this. I add more files or I delete this. It will actually then trigger that update to those people so then they can um, they can actually go in and they can they can download those new files um, you've got the option as well here to create a direct download link so um, say for example somebody comes to you and says I'm having real problems downloading this I, I can't get it you can just jump in copy that link out you could just email it straight over to them and then that's the end of that kind of uh, that the end of that issue um, just getting it resolved manually and you can go in and you can view these in the admin as well so like I say you can change anything in here you can update images or your you know your prices again stock is completely how you want to manage it you could have variants for different types of um, if they're design files or PDFs or whatever it may be it's uh, it's all editable and you know this is just standard product management from that point so you know, like I say, everything really is sort of all neatly contained in here. It's just a case of um, making sure that you've got, um, <laughs> okay, it's decided not to work now. It just making sure that um, you've set your products up as well so that um, they are set up as, uh, as a digital product or service. But like I say, it, you can actually do both. You can have it set up as a physical product um, and it, it can be both so they can have a, um, uh, if we've got our, our digital product here, maybe we could say digital and, uh, no, that's not it, uh, physical product. And then what we could do is we could actually change that because it is a physical product. 
and then we can save it. But it's actually still attached to our. Um, <laughs> hang on, this is this requires this to work now, so I, I do actually need the page to work here. Sometimes it is a little bit temperamental. Um, it, what you normally could do is go back into digital downloads and essentially the the file is split. This is really because I'm using a developer store, so it's uh, it doesn't always work completely properly. Basically, what it does is it splits it, so you've got the uh, concept of the physical product. So they have to enter a shipping address, but then also they're sent their digital version as well. So sometimes people have done that with uh, things like T-shirts. Maybe you get like a, a digital product alongside it. Um, it, you know, like a, again, you can give away ebooks with things and and that type of thing. It's it's all possible. So, yeah, that was just really to run through the the app and how to install it and how it kind of works. And hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, give the video a like. If you want to see um, more content like this, then uh, please subscribe. And if you've got any questions, then um, please just drop them in the comments.